Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on this week's Master Nightfall, which is the Insight Terminus. I'll be doing it on Talk Tree Voidwalker. I'm using Hung Juru with Rapid Hit Explosive Rounds. I'm using Truth Teller with Blinding Grenades. And I'm using the Deathbringer, which I've never used in a Nightfall before, ever. Breaching clear on my 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 bond. I've got the relevant uh, finders and scavengers for Grenade Launcher and Rocket Launcher. I've also got Arden Ordnance on. Uh... Actually, on the thumbnail, it says Solo Master, Solo Grandmaster. There's a link in the description to the stream. It starts at the start of the run. I actually soloed the Grandmaster on stream. So if you're here for the Grandmaster, just go into the description, click the link, and they'll bring the video up. Uh, but for those of you that are just here to see how this gets done, and then it's the it's the exact same strategy, different weapon, but exact same strategy for Master and Grandmaster, the way I've done the Masters, the way I've done the Grandmaster. Basically, blending grenades are going to be your friend. The I've got, as as many people will know from, from previous videos, I love to use, on the, the top two Void Walker, I love to use uh, Controverse Holds. Because the grenade on Controverse is, is, is another weapon. You'll see here how good I've got, I've got the, I've got the Catalyst, so if I can stop, if I can break the shield of one of these, uh, one of these uh, goblins, I mean here it probably doesn't need it, but if I can break the shield, uh, the the Deathbringer with with the the Catalyst, it will kill the the champion. Very strong, and with the Catalyst, obviously, uh, with the Catalyst, what you're looking at is. It's about a meter, meter or two to get optimal range. About two meters above uh, the enemy that you're trying to trying to kill with the rocket launcher. You need to fire it about a meter. So, and and then it hits optimal damage. So you'll be getting yellow numbers. Whereas beforehand you had to fire it quite far high up in the air. For anybody that's got the catalyst and thinks it's a bit of a chore to do it, go to the Shiro Chi checkpoint and last wish. It didn't take me very long at all. You can rally a flag and win. When you've used all your ammo, put on some heavy, put on some rocket launcher ammo finders. Once you run out of your ammo, and there's nothing lying about, just kill yourself and it puts you back to the start of the checkpoint, rinse and repeat. So all of this stuff right here is pretty standard. Uh, most people will be wanting to know about the boss. The boss, the boss, and maybe the section before the boss. You see here, the tracking is crazy. You don't have to fire too high in front, and... After about two meters, you get optimal damage, so you'll be getting yellow numbers. So, I figured that the Deathbringer would be really good for when I got to the boss, because the way I like to do the boss, I'm kind of in cover from the boss. So with this, I could fire the the rocket over my cover, and it would hit the boss. And what was really great about it, and I hope it transfers to the video, I actually killed the boss before I realized I had. That's how much damage I felt I was doing. I was ready to do another round of uh, another round of uh, rockets and stuff. So I'm just going to put that up there and see. The tracking's pretty cool. You see there, I've got four legionaries. I'm just going back to collect some heavy. Let's talk it because all of this, it's you, you're basically you're basically doing it from range. You're, you're keeping yourself safe. I like to take if I can when when at all possible. I like to take this champion. I don't like him to run behind the rock. Uh, because normally he'll back, sometimes he'll back away to the left. I don't really like him doing that. But I was pretty lucky here. I managed to managed to ping quite a few of the enemies here. Uh, and, and, and the champion stayed. So I'm just going to put a breach and clear on him. I want him to break his shield. And then we're going to try and put a rocket. Um, this, this seemed to me as if it might be a little bit too far. Uh... And as you can see, there was still a lot of enemies around, so it targeted everything but him. <laughs> so, uh, it's really good for a lot of circumstances. But, uh, see, I'm letting it go as far as I can, and hopefully it'll track the champion. Some of it did. I don't know if I've managed to put a breaching clear on him, so... Because I've got explosive rounds... Explosive rounds on the hung jury. It's on any scout rifle... Uh, it's just it's for PVE especially. It's just too good. If you've got if you've got a really good roll of, let's say the first the first adept I got had Firefly Rapid Hit, 
very good roll. Nowhere near as good as my my standard, the one I'm using now, it was nowhere near as good as this with explosive rounds. I was very lucky that off, I think it was off the solo run, I got heating up in explosive rounds. I would like rapid hit with it, so I'm, I'm, go, I'm actually going away on holiday, so I'll be away for just about a week. So I'm hoping to get maybe a couple of runs done today. Again, I apologise for how long it took to get this out. I lost my voice this week. It's just coming back. It's still a little bit gravelly, a little bit raspy. So I apologise for that. But I didn't really want to put out... I don't like putting out videos with no commentary. You know, I'm not a fan of that. So I wanted to wait until I could speak in the video. I'm going to have a look. I recorded something else. Because I have been playing. I just haven't been able to speak, really. I have recorded this week's expunge against Quirio. We'll see. I haven't had a look at it to see what it's like because it was, I think it was my second run. I got a solo flawless on it. So if that's a decent enough run, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put that out as well. And as I say, you've got the link in the description here to my, my solo grandmaster. All of this stuff, as you can see, I'm, what I'm trying to do here, I messed up here. Uh, and the reason I messed up is because what I should have done and I, 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 never, I didn't really mess up. I never had a grenade. You really want to make sure you've got a grenade for that second part so you can suppress the dogs and the champions. I think I managed to get it the next time. Unfortunately, now I'm going to have to deal with these champions if I hadn't. Uh, see there how much damage that done from just being right in front of it? I, fi I, I, fire, I, I put the breaching clear on that adds the debuff you see there. And I really didn't have to fire two meters on top. I actually fired right in front. I think it's just, it takes less time to activate. So as you can see here, we've got a couple of dogs. The 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 blinding grenades. So this is another thing. And I've done this on the GM, or I was trying to get this on the GM. I'll throw a grenade here. I'll wait until I hear the noise. And then I throw a grenade. What I'm trying to do is blind the, an enemy and keep these enemies up for as long as I can. And the longer these enemies are up, uh, you see there we've got a dog, nothing I can do, there's nothing else up. Uh, I managed to capture the plate, but, you know, we managed to keep one dog up. If you can keep one enemy up from one of the waves with the blinding grenades, the other waves won't spawn, and that's that was how I done it on the Grand Master. Now this next section is probably that's where the difficulty starts to come in. But again, you're gonna, as you're going to see here, it isn't difficult. But that, this is where I would say the difficulty starts to ramp up, which is why all of what we've just done, stay safe, do it from range. That's that's the simplicity of that. The boss. We'll start speaking about the boss maybe after we do this this first section of this, because it's just rinse and repeat. So, when you get in here, the first enemy you really want to worry about, because I'll run up the right-hand side, is, is this guy. Him. Make sure you kill the Scion. Be at this rock, put a rift down. you see those start, one of the modifiers is that uh, they throw more grenades, but as you can see, they kind of like to stand together and hold hands and, you know... You put a grenade. Watch out for the champion, obviously. There's a champion there. And just kind of whittle a couple of those away. Move down here because the champion will move. He'll go up to the middle. But just make sure you, uh, you've you got to be very careful here. Don't We've put we've put a breach and clear on him. But what we're trying to do is blind some of the other enemies. As I say, we put a breach and clear. Now we'll stick a rocket and see how much damage the rocket does. And that's how much damage the rocket does. The other things I've got, uh, you can pause the video at the start, as I always say, and have a look at the exact mods that I'm using. But I've got the the chargeable light mods where I, I the font of lights. So one of them is obviously get kills with a grenade drops a font of light. And when I pick that one up, which is the other mod I've got on, when I pick that font of light up, I get chargeable light times two. So because I was going to be throwing a lot of grenades there, we've got the champion there. The champion comes, this first champion. Uh, we, we stay over this side. Uh, don't take the, the unstoppable. 
take the barrier first. We're just going to put something on breaching clear. And the thing about breaching clear is breaching clear and it's, it's obviously very good. You see there how much damage that rocket's doing to the, the barrier. Breaching clear is very good. Uh, I'll just finish him off with the scout. Breaching clear is very good. It adds that debuff on. Uh, the thing about taking the unstoppable is the unstoppable drops the orb. You want to leave him till last because when you pick up, you know, when you pick up, when, once you've taken the unstoppable, not so much for this round, but more so for the next round, it's, it, it just brings out other ads and stuff. So the idea is take out as much from this side. There are places you can go to check to see what's still left. I, I normally hit over to the, the left hand side over here and change the angle and you can see I can see these ads want to hide from me uh then take the unstoppable then you'll get a wave of ads where we were just standing in the first wave you'll have one barrier and, and a, uh, two gladiators and and a couple of uh legionaries in the second wave you'll have two barriers so the what distinguished the first wave and the second wave is there's a couple more champions in the second wave so in this first wave you had an, a barrier an unstoppable and then just your usual kind of trash mobs with some uh, elite uh, as you can see there elite legionaries in the second wave you get two barriers and an unstoppable compared to the one barrier and unstoppable you got in this wave then once you take down those enemies you'll get another wave of enemies coming in then you'll get another barrier from this from the middle once you pick the orb up and then over the other side you'll have two barriers the only difference in the way we do the first wave and the second wave is once i've cleared everything in the second wave i go back down to where we came in which is over to our left here and i take out those ads before prepping myself to take out this barrier that spawns here and then i come over here and there's, there's a place you can take both of the both of the barriers from See there, I just Kobe a grenade over, uh, take out some of the trash ads. And that, that's basically this area. You'll see me, do, you, you, I, I don't push until some of the ads are cleared. I only like, I only really push this champion over here when he is like really dug in. If he's really dug in, then I'll move down across here and get get a decent angle. If he's facing me here, uh, then you see there I'll blind that gladiator kind of using the grenade more I don't like to stay up here in case the barrier gets an angle on me so once I've clear, took one of them see there I like to I like to move and just try to take the gladiator the gladiator's bl blind, blinded so what the best place if he's over here you can take him from here or you can take him from just down the bottom of the stairs just to the right so we're going to see how well this rocket performs against this barrier pretty good so now that we've cleared this side we'll go back over we'll get the orb and then that will set off wave two which just as i've already said the start of wave two it's two barriers and unstoppable some trash mobs you've got to remember as well you'll see me do it uh, especially it transfers more to the Grand Master than it really does the Master. Uh, there'll be a group of Scions. If you're attacking from over here, there'll be a group of Scions on this side that we're facing now, but right down at the bottom. There'll be a group... Uh, see, with the, the barrier we, barrier came out the same side uh, twice that time. I took two of the Scions there. If you don't take any of the Scions, you end up in this second wave, I think in the first wave you end up with four or five, but in this wave you end up with five or six. So you just have to be careful because they can't really hit you over here, but you you, you don't want to you don't want to be in a situation where you know you're going over to see what's going on. And you get that breaching clear and one rocket basically kills a, a boss. So you see there, you don't really want to be in a situation, especially in the Grandmaster where enemies that can almost one hit you are <laughs> I've got you in their sights from long range so I like to take these guys all those guys they'll always be in that location I like to take them out pretty quickly so 
So now we're in a position where we're just clearing up some moss. We still have a barrier over the other side and the, obviously the unstoppable. So I'm taking as many of these trash mobs as I can before I move down. Now, you want to check the far right hand side. Uh, you see I'm having a look to see what, if, if there's any ads hiding around. Now, especially for the Grandmaster, you want to check the right hand side. And make sure there are no more see there's ads up on the right hand side because that's a great angle to take this barrier now obviously this is master so it's not nearly uh as as dangerous as as the gm that was what i wanted i wanted these ads to come and show themselves so hopefully i could get something on them with a grenade unfortunately it just must have just clipped the back side of one of them uh just take out you you're gonna have some uh Phalanxes down here. I'm just going to put a breaching clear on what that does. It just adds that debuff. I've got my super should I need, but I'm just going to put a rocket. See who that tracks. I took one of the legionaries. And now breaching clear, we got the, the, the stop. I'm just going to see if I can just keep breaking this... Uh, See the barrier. Two of them are standing on top of each other. It's not a great place. Because I couldn't see really what was going on. See there, that, that rocket. I just put it as, as like a... Cautionary kind of thing. You know, a, 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 an exploratory shot. That's, that's more what it was. You see there, that is the unstoppable down. Now, unfortunately, because I've took the unstoppable, now the ads have appeared over at the other side. Now I'm getting, now I'm getting, uh, it's, it's the unstoppable that brings these ads out, right? But fortunately, I have my super, so uh, I managed to take the barrier just, just with one super hat. You want to leave the unstoppable up. The unstoppable is the key for the ads coming out over the other side and these ads coming here. Uh, over on the other side is the best place because you're you're you've got a raised viewpoint. It's it's just a better better place to take the champion from. So basically, now from this place here, I'm going to take these last couple of ads, and then we'll, we'll, you get a barrier champion over the other side. You get a barrier at the bottom of the stairs and a barrier at the top with, as I say, the usual amount of ads. Uh, so we'll t we'll, there are angles you can take them safely from, so we're, we're, we're going to show you those angles and just smash them from there. And then, once you dunk this orb, don't once you pick this orb up, you see all the ads are dead, once you pick this orb up, you're going to get this last barrier champion over this side. So I'm going to go over here, get behind this box, and I'm going to mark them first, find them, and then mark them real quick. And then I want to break his shield. Once you get him so low, and then rock it. Once you get him so low, he 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 won't really focus on trying to kill you. He once you get him to almost, I'd say about half half to three quarters through his first health bar, he then will just want to. He'll then just want to shield up. So you could, pre, I wouldn't say stand right in front of him, but. You're not in any serious danger. So we'll let him put his shield up. you got to watch out. That's what I'm saying. There are safe places you can take this barrier from. You want to just make sure you're in cover from, from the ads up top. And then I'm just going to put a rocket. I actually fired that really high. I'm just making sure that I break his shield so some of the rocket hits him. Now, as I say, when I came in to do this on Grandmaster, I found much better ways to do this. Now, there's an actual place just behind us on the right where you can take this barrier pretty safely from. Because the other, the other barrier, he'll be looking to get a look at you. The great thing about Breaching Clear as well is it reloads your weapons on a direct hit. So, it, when you put Breaching Clear on, should I say, it reloads your weapon. So now we've got this barrier up top with some gladiators. and You, know, you see there, I've, I've 
he's a, he can be kind of annoying to take out because he, he'll run and hide. Not a great grenade. I actually threw it too far. It's not like me. Uh, so basically now, if I just keep hitting him with, with the grenade launcher and just making sure I've got enough ammo, I've got enough ammo in my mag to, uh, to break his shield and, you know, to put damage on him and then break his shield, I'll be fine. can take him quite easily from over here. Still a couple ads over there and then when we dunk this orb, uh, we're going to get some Vex that the, the grenade will take. And that is us now at the boss. So we're going to speak solely about the boss. I'm going to let you know how the boss works. So when you get there, the boss is going to... He'll, he'll be attacking some Vex. And then... Once he finishes attacking the Vex, he then goes into his cocoon state. When he goes into his cocoon stage, you're going to get your first wave of what we're going to be calling plate ads. Which is... Uh, four legionaries, some dogs. For the first wave, you won't get any of these gladiators. So you capture the plate, that releases the boss. Then you start getting boss ads. Now, there is a distinct difference between boss ads and plate ads. Plate ads will push a little bit more aggressively. And you get dogs, you get gladiators. Uh, boss ads, they, they're, they are, they're just, uh, you get phalanxes, you get uh, void incendiaries. Not so much in the first lot, it's just legionaries for the first, till, till, till you put him back into his cocoon stage. So, the waves you've got is you've got the first kind of boss wave, and then the second, right? So we'll go with the plates. You capture a plate to start with. As soon as you get down to the boss, he'll go into his cocoon phase, you capture the plate. The boss then will come out, and we're going to DPS the boss. None of the, where I'm going to be standing, you'll see where I'm going to be, The none of the ads will push me. Once I get him down to about a quarter or a third into his second health bar, he will go immune again. He'll go into his cocoon phase. This is the part that everybody kind of struggles with, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about this as if we're doing it on Grandmaster. And you'll see the way I've done it on Grandmaster because obviously you can click on the link in the description. You're gonna get every time you step, and when you step on the plate, you're gonna get a, well right off the bat. You're gonna get a wave of four legionaries. They are the key. Four legionaries, four gladiators, and some dogs, right? Now, you're going to kill your gladiators, and you're going to kill your dogs, but you're not going to kill the legionaries. If you can make make the legionaries go inactive, frozen, blinded, no more ads will come out. If you kill one of the legionaries, by accident, or whatever... 10 seconds after you kill that legionary, you will get a wave of ads which will consist of however many legionaries you killed and your gladiators and dogs again, but you'll also get two void incendiaries. Now, they are based off killing the legionaries. If you kill your gladiators and then capture a plate, Kill the gladiators, kill the dogs, capture the plate. If you do it like that, you will still get four gladiators because they are because you killed your gladiators. But I'm not sure if you don't kill any any legionaries whether you get those ads coming back out. But you definitely, if you can keep the legionaries uh, blinded, you get less ads. Now it takes. It takes about 15 seconds to capture a plate. So, when it comes to capturing plates, what you need to do is keep the legionaries blinded for as, uh, at least 7 seconds. I'm saying blinded. Blinded, frozen, whichever you're going to do it. And then you can kill them. You will have, obviously, 10 seconds from when you kill the first legionary... You'll have 10 seconds plus. So you'll have 10 seconds till the next wave of ads comes out. So if you keep them blinded for 7 seconds, you can stand on the plate and have 2 seconds to get back into cover before the next wave comes out. So you'll see now, we've, now that we've put them back into this uh, cocoon state, right? We're just going to clear this wave of ad the, the ads that are coming out, right? 
I'm just clearing all the ads. I'm not, I'm not even trying to save any, right? Because I know I'm gonna get this, uh, this wave as your gladiators. I don't have any more special, but because it's just a master, and because I'm, I'm four levels above the master, right? So I'm not. I'm not really smashing it out the park. You can over level any activity within Destiny by 20 levels. And you'll be as high as you can be. Just gonna go and pick some of this up. So what my job is now, especially on the GM, is I need to group these. I've got the four legionaries up. I need to group them. So now I'm gonna blind them. I only need to keep them blinded for seven seconds, but now I've killed that one. Right? So I'm just going to throw the grenade up, kill the other ones. From when I killed that first one, I should have had 10 seconds just about, but I didn't. I got dogs and everything coming out, so that, that was quite weird because you should have 10 seconds till the next wave of ads come out. Maybe I already killed a legionary before that, because I, I did kill a lot. I, there was more than four up at the time you'll see here you th th this one will be the, the the best representation the 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 10 second thing which is which i mean it is the thing but the 10 second thing i don't worry about that don't worry about trying to get your timing right and all that type of stuff don't worry about that the biggest thing you need to worry about for capturing these plates is knowing that a there are four legionaries and that you need to keep those legionaries blinded for as long as possible. But once you've got the plate, as I say, once you're on that plate, if you get that plate to about three quarters, then you can kill the legionaries and you'll be able to get back over here in cover well before uh, you need to, you know, but well before the ads get to you. So you need you need to keep the the, the ads incapacitated for as long as possible. So uh, what I'm going to do here now, you see, I'm just, I just blinded so I could come out here, do a bit of an ammo run. i am hopefully got them all together now. So I'm just going to move around here, make sure I'm fully reloaded. And I'm going over here and now we'll keep these blinded. Now to make sure that you don't kill them, this is what I started to do with the Grandmaster, you see now. Now I've got legionaries. Now I've got these guys. Uh, I'm just going to put the grenade there. Hopefully. Just melee ham. And this is this plate captured. Right? We'll just move back here. Now, the blinding grenade launcher, a lot of people will use uh, stasis. I, I, don't, I don't like crutching off of abilities, really. Although, I am using... I am using... Uh, my grenades a hell of a lot, you know. But, I just... I just don't like stasis. Sorry. <laughs> it's just I don't like it. So, I'm showing you guys that, really, you don't need to run a specific subclass. You see, I've got the gladiators. Uh, now what we're trying to do is uh, try not to step on the plates if you're not going to capture them. So you see now, I'm going to blind these. What I was doing with the Grandmaster was I was firing the grenades above the, the ads. So that I wasn't killing them. You see that I'll just keep him off the plate. I wasn't killing the ads, so I'll just do that. I took a bit of damage there, put my rift down, managed to get the plate. It's fire the grenade above the ad. Fire, fire the grenades above them. It has quite a long effect, you know. So now we've got, as you can see, now we've got plate ads. So this. These are the, your safe zones, right? You've got from the gladiators. I'm just gonna kind of use my rocket to kind of clear some of these gladiators. 
Watch out for the, the boss's void attack. Now, I have said this in videos before. Watch out for the boss's void attack. It's not so much... So, it's not so bad uh, when it hits you, when it's when its circular section hits you. What's bad is the trails. The trails will... Uh, they just absolutely melt you because normally void damage is increased and... Uh, and environmental damage is increased, which... Uh... It comes under both. So it's like you get no time to react. So as you can see here, I've got I still got some dogs up. I had the play plate ads up because I because I just captured a plate. Now, depending on how your DPS goes, uh you might not have to deal with and normally you don't have to. It's a bit kinda of strange the way that this one worked. Uh you normally don't have to deal with plate adds when you've captured the final plate. But I think the reason why it worked like this, it didn't work like this in the, the, the Grand Master, I think it was because after I put the boss in his cocoon phase, the the the, uh, the second time, I just kept killing adds. I think that's why this worked like that. So I'm just going to go and grab some, some heavy. I haven't got a lot of... Uh, special which is what i'm using to kind of clear the edge you can see there big damage lots of lots of numbers i'm just wanting to put a debuff onto the boss so i can get a rocket fired and then move back to you can see there with those yellow numbers just make sure i get keep putting the grenades out Get get a hat on the boss. You just jump across. And I actually do, you'll see it. I actually kill the boss before I realise I've actually killed him. And at this point, I just started putting rockets over on. Just be careful for the boy the, the boss's void attack. Just be careful for the trails, that you don't run through the trails. And there, I, I see I'm jumping up to throw my, my grenade and I've actually killed him. So, really kind of straightforward run. Just make sure you keep as many of the legionaries alive as possible and that you can just capture the plate quite easily. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you check out the, the Grandmaster run, which is actually on my stream channel. As I say, links in the description. Take it easy, guys. I will be on holiday as of tonight for a week, and hopefully by the time I come back, my voice will be absolutely perfect, and we can start churning out some content. Take it easy, guys. Hope you enjoyed the run, and I will see you guys in the next video.